So sharding is a method to solve scalability issues. It's a technique that allows dividing a database into a series of smaller databases or shards with the goal of solving different problems that plague blockchains today. The blockchain trilemma, which we discussed in the last video, involves the scalability, decentralization, and security of a blockchain. So we will explore how sharding will answer that in this video on BitTruth. Only 5% of you are subscribed, so join us by subscribing, it's free, and you can change your mind at any time. So let's begin. Blockchains today are made up of a series of independent decentralized nodes all over the world. Each node, a network participant, stores all transaction histories and data. So you can see the problem evolving and that is as the number of users on the network increases, so does the size of data. Hence, in the long run, blockchains will get bogged down and run into latency issues due to huge amounts of data each node has to store and this is unsustainable obviously. So shorting offers the solution by allowing this data to be divided into shards. So current nodes will handle smaller amounts of data so no latency, allow the shards to interact with each other to maintain security and decentralized network in the end. So in simpler terms, think of sharding as a company rather than having one department or one group handle all the work. The work is divided into many different departments in that company with a protocol between them so they can communicate information with each other. So how all of this is achieved? There's a lot of technicalities that play into this with different ideas at play. So. Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency, plans to introduce 64 new shard chains after the merge happens, where the Ethereum mainnet blockchain and the beacon chain join together to introduce the proof of stake mechanism. This is about Ethereum 2.0 and uh, we're using it as an example of course. Also, shards can be coded with different characteristics. So for example, a group of shards will be responsible for smart contracts, while others responsible for transaction histories or transaction amounts on the network. Not to mention that shards do not allow invalid blocks to go through. So this can become a foolproof system to prevent malpractice in a quicker and more effective manner. Compared to traditional blockchains where each network participant or node have to notice this behavior before reporting it to the network so this is much more efficient in the long run since this all sounds beautiful and amazing why don't all blockchains especially ethereum try to implement this well it's not that simple of course due to the risks involved at large up until this point all what we have talked about and discussed in this video is theoretical developers till now do not yet know the implications of implementing sharding among other risks or things Firstly, an attacker can try to sabotage a shard and use it to broadcast invalid transactions onto the network. Since shards transmit information between each other, then it's easy for other shards to assume that these are authentic actions. One solution to this is to introduce something known as random sampling. So simply having shards randomly interact with each other in a time period of less than a minute. So the attacker does not have enough time and resources to initiate his move or have information on which shard will interact with the next shard. Secondly, this whole new framework won't work on a proof of work blockchain like currently on Ethereum 1.0 because nothing can stop a single miner from validating a transaction, hence sharding is useless. And lastly, this is a new area of active development and study. No one really knows yet what other implications can be caused that are yet to be known. Um, since we know no code is perfect, diving deep into treacherous waters might cause ripple effects that damage entire blockchain projects and render an entire cryptocurrency useless and lose its value rapidly. That's why Ethereum has actively delayed and have lost reputation in the process due to all these delays and false promises because the idea of implementing Ethereum 2.0 which includes sharding as its main component for the last six years due to the risks and now looking at the number of Ethereum staked for the long awaited release of ETH 2.0 is a huge gamble for all those involved. So let me know what do you think about Ethereum? Is it on an unstoppable train destined to crash or will they find a way to make this technological breakthrough pan out? So your thoughts in the comments of course will be very intriguing to read. So thanks for watching this video till the end and see you guys next week.